The wilderness, this self-professed girly girl banker, traded in her stilettos for a rifle and has been cooking up a storm ever since. Here with her journey from the boardroom to the kitchen and now the woods is author of Girl Hunter, revolutionizing the way we eat one hunt at a time, Georgia Pellegrini. Great to see you, Hunter. Great to be Hunter here, bro. thank you. Is that okay to call you that? Sure. <laughs> so you, you go to this uh, very fancy prep school in New York City growing up. Mm. You end up going to Wellesley College. You end up on Wall Street. And after a year, you go, eh, this isn't for me. It's true. I think, you know, the silver lining in doing what, what doesn't make you happy is it forces you to think about what you're doing when you are happy. And for me, it was always food and cooking. Mm -hmm. So that's sort of why I dove in. So then you decide, I'm going to be a chef. Yeah. So for six years, you do that. And one at one point... The, your boss says, hey, would you go out and uh, kill that turkey in the backyard? <laughs> and what did you think? It was a very emotional, intense moment, but you sort of have this, this moment when you think, wow, this is what it takes to bring meat to the table. And I decided if I was going to be an omnivore and a chef, and I wanted to be a meat eater, I needed to be able to do it. So you, how did you do it? Well, it's, you know, they were broad-breasted whites, they were, they were domestic, so you just cut their windpipes. It's pretty sort of straightforward and, and primal. I mean, first you had to chase it down. Yeah, I mean, they, were, they weren't they were wild, so it wasn't hard. But, you know, there's a pen just the way you would do it at a farm. And, and you cut their windpipes. And it's it's sort of a, a spiritual moment, if that makes sense. You know, you're tapping into that natural human instinct, that primal instinct that we all once had as, as hunters and gatherers. It's so interesting because suddenly you found your passion. At that moment in time, you decide to start hunting everything else from quail, deer, wild boar, elk, <laughs> even squirrel. Yeah, squirrel. It's a great, I, some people say it's the best meat in the woods. Now, I want to show your recipe because this is how, if you want to go out and hunt squirrel, folks, this is how <laughs> Georgia recommends it. There are a lot of ingredients for your Brunswick stew with acorns, but here's what else you say about squirrels. Where do I have that? If there's a difference between an old squirrel and a young squirrel, what is it? Well, so young squirrels are more tender, and you know, you think about it, as we get older, we, our muscles work harder, um, and so the muscles become more sinewy. So. Younger animals, they have more tender meat. Older animals have more muscle. How have your parents responded to this new career <laughs> change? I read that your father is a vegan. He is, but, you know, he still salivates at the thought of a, of a roasted pheasant. And, um, you know, he was one of the people that actually encouraged me to join the ranks of women hunters. I grew up on the same land that my great-grandfather lived on. You know, we have honeybees and chickens, and we grew up, you know, really living off the land. So it was just a, the next logical step. I used to go fishing with him for, for my trout for breakfast growing up. So you had a little bit of this in you. But yeah. it has to be kind of... Um, scary the first time to put your hands inside of an animal and be doing this on a daily basis. Now you're just used to it? I am. You know, I think being a chef, you have your hands in all the, the gory bits often. So I think it wasn't too hard of a step. But it also makes sense. It, it, it somehow taps into that natural human instinct. Um, and I think it, it feels very natural in a way, if that makes sense. And it, it sounds scary from far away. But once you're in that moment, you know, you really are encouraged when you have to work so hard for your ingredients to use every part of the animal, to treat it with respect from the field to the plate. Wow. And that's what it allows you to do. This is a woman, folks, who's living <laughs> for her passion, a Georgia Pellegrini author, now former investment banker, now chef, now hunter. <laughs> Go out and get the book. Great to meet you. Thanks. Great to meet you. Coming up on the